My name is Bruce Perry. In this video, we are going to highlight valid scientific data from the United States, Europe, and Asia that is now associating vitamin D deficiency with more severe and critical COVID-19 clinical outcomes. The bottom line, vitamin D should be a vital go-to weapon in our COVID-19 frontline defenses, and every public health official should be recommending it. Former CDC Director Dr. Thomas Frieden is perhaps the most high-profile public health official to date supporting the idea that coronavirus infection risk may be reduced by vitamin D. Dr. Frieden encouraged vitamin D supplementation as a preventative measure for everyone, but especially for the more vulnerable populations. A smoking gun report out of Asia has clearly established that vitamin D insufficiency and deficiency is linked to more severe and critical COVID-19 outcomes. 212 patients were analyzed, and the 100 patients or nearly 50% of the total who experienced severe or critical outcomes were also considered to be vitamin D insufficient or deficient. Only four patients or just 0.018% considered to be in the normal vitamin D group experienced the same severe clinical outcomes. Data out of Italy has researchers from the University of Turin recommending that the elderly, infirm, and those with pre-existing conditions get their blood levels of vitamin D3 up as high as they can, with a minimum of 30 nanogram per ml being the starting point. Their data showed that Italians with the highest rates of morbidity and mortality are in fact vitamin D deficient. Numbers coming out of Stockholm, Sweden show that the Somali population has been hit especially hard. Despite being less than 1% of Stockholm's population, Somali deaths account for 40% of all reported COVID-19 deaths. Studies have shown that 74% of Somali women living in Sweden were found to be vitamin D deficient. In the United Kingdom, a review published in the BMJ highlights a study of over 2,200 patients by the Intensive Care National Audit and Research Center. The study noted that despite making up just 13% of the UK population, Approximately 33% of patients who fall critically ill with COVID-19 are from Black, Asian, or minority ethnic groups. In fact, healthcare practitioner death rates of darker-skinned ethnicities in the UK are so alarming that it prompted the British Association of Physicians of Indian Origin to write to the NHS leaders over ongoing concerns about the disproportionately high mortality rates among Black, Asian and minority ethnic backgrounds healthcare staff. The letter goes on to request that the NHS offer an advisory memorandum to all BAME healthcare staff that vitamin D replacement and doses that would address any underlying D3 deficiency is recommended. Blacks in the United States are also contracting and dying of COVID-19 at alarming rates. Black deaths in Chicago, Detroit, and other metropolitan areas account for up to 70% of all COVID-19 deaths, despite the black population being less than 30% in these areas. A 2008 review by the American Public Health Association noted that 84% of African American men and women over 65 were vitamin D deficient. These numbers have been verified in other studies as well with numbers as high as 87% of black males and 83% of black females being vitamin D deficient. A multivariate analysis of factors affecting COVID-19 case and death rate in the U.S. was recently conducted by Adam Lee in the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, New York. Their analysis demonstrated that black race alone is indeed a risk factor for severe COVID-19 outcomes, independent of comorbidities, poverty, access to health care, and other mitigating factors. The same report recognized vitamin D deficiency in the black population as a possible cause for the disparities in high death rates. These alarming death rates are presenting themselves in the Navajo Nation as well. Navajo are dying at close to 20 times the rate of whites. Vitamin D research is limited, but a study conducted with obese and diabetic Native American youth showed that 97% of all study participants were vitamin D deficient. A report published in the Irish Medical Journal concluded that vitamin D deficiency is common in Ireland and may contribute to the increased risk of respiratory infection, including COVID-19. The report recommends all older adults, hospital inpatients, nursing home residents, and other vulnerable groups be urgently supplemented with vitamin D to enhance the resistance to COVID-19, and that this advice be quickly extended to Ireland's general adult population as well. 
The evidence gets stronger by the day. Vitamin D deficiency is associated with more severe COVID-19 clinical outcomes. A call to action of public health officials to recommend and extend vitamin D supplementation strategies to the general population, regardless of race and comorbidities, is urgently needed. Don't wait. I hope you will consider vitamin D as a vital frontline weapon in your COVID-19 defense plan. Increasing vitamin D serum levels is a safe, low-risk, high-reward decision you can make today. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay well.